Snastronk. Every so often I say screw it and do a video on a game I know for a fact won't get much of an audience and I don't care. Itchy and Scratchy Miniature Golf Madness combines three of my favorite things, golf games, The Simpsons, and the original Game Boy. I admire the Game Boy so much, they squeezed so much out of this thing without any additional peripherals or anything. It produced incredible feats of gaming, from the 16 player compatible Faceball 2000 to games that are still worth playing today as is, like Kid Dracula and Link's Awakening. Itchy and Scratchy Miniature Golf Madness is uh, not a landmark achievement in gaming, but it's totally in my wheelhouse. I already did a video on another Simpsons Game Boy game years ago, Bart vs. the Juggernauts, and while that game may be extremely dated in a lot of ways, one thing I admire about it is that it does a nice job capturing the early Simpsons humor. Miniature Golf Madness similarly does a decent job getting the itchy and scratchy vibe down reasonably well. The premise here is to complete each mini golf hole while dealing with obstacles and dodging the incessant Itchy who comes after you with guns, knives, and bombs, and flamethrowers, and machetes, and tons of other stuff. The Itchy and Scratchy vibe here is represented well, like I said, and that's because the sprite work here is surprisingly pretty good. Scratchy's death animations are pretty funny, and even on Game Boy, they're still nice looking. If you can't already tell from the footage here, this is a mini golf game disguised as an action platformer. That's kind of why I wanted to take a look at this one, because it's such an odd combination that I don't think I've seen any place else, and yet somehow it works, sort of, at least for a Game Boy game. You get nine lives, of course, to finish each hole. You stand either to the left or the right of the ball, depending on which direction you want to hit it. You press up, and then you hold down the B button, which brings up a power meter. You let go of the button at the right time to either blast the ball or tap it lightly. Each hole is usually something like par 25, and you meander around these huge platforming levels, avoiding obstacles and dodging itchy while hitting the ball. You do pick up weapons so you can fend for yourself as well, like knives or baseball bats, but you get limited ammo for each. Your default weapon is a golf club, and that's this game's big flaw. The hit detection for hitting Itchy with this thing is freaking terrible. If you don't have any weapons, you're better off just staying away from using this thing. So yeah, there's not much else to say about this one. There's nine holes and nine lives, and it's pretty simple and straightforward. Miniature Golf Madness doesn't have any kind of battery save or password system, it's just a pick up and play game that's very much a product of its time. It's not meant to be played for any long period of time or even an hour. It's very much in the spirit of the old original Game Boy where you play it for 10-15 minutes at a time and then put it down. That said, Miniature Golf Madness is actually a pretty cool idea for a game. It's kind of nuts to combine an action platformer with mini golf, but if anyone can do it, it's itchy and scratchy.